Hello and welcome to another edition of Minecraft Windows 10 50th Birthday World Edition thing. Yet work has been very cooperative, although we don't expect that to last long. So it'll probably be in the Arcade 1-Up rotation, which of course will be here on Twitch, but the Arcade 1-Up would be on YouTube. Anyway, once again, we're able to do it on the actual scheduled time of Friday at 10 and for those of you watching this on YouTube, it, you can watch it live on twitch.tv slash georgev551. You could go there and if you bring up the player while I'm not live, a schedule will appear as to what should be happening and when and alternatives if work per usual is a problem. So we're still working on the... Uh, we're still working on the uh, nether base, but I had a mis mishap where I didn't pay attention to my health when I accidentally set my uh, one of my builds on fire. What's nice here is while we're getting the XP and we're not going to spend all that much time here is I got the dual spawner and it's literally just a two block vertical difference otherwise they're in the same exact spot and if I stand on this black area or anywhere within the doorway they'll both work but right now I said we're just here to take care of this one last run Let's see if we can get the up to 44 here because every time you reach a, a new XP level, it takes more experience to gain another point. Well, we made it to 44. Alright, that's all we're gonna do right now. Also, I've collected this stuff along the way. These are our actual armor. Collected some iron. And for, somehow I lost my sword when that happened. No idea how. So I'm going to get some materials before we go because I want to make another room. And made the war, you know, the map room, well, loosely call it a map room. But there's a big room above it. I think that'll be the Piglin Trading Hall. And I like how suddenly the sky just instantly turns blue on the bedrock version of the game, whereas Java, it slowly turns blue. Let's see where the light is, where the sun is. It's over there. And that's a good thing, because when it's over there, it's about to set. First thing we're gonna do, besides put away this extra iron, is we're 
going to see what we can get for the sword here. Of course, it has to be garbage. And while we're at it, sharpness of efficiency, that's pretty good, although could have probably done it on a new one. protection sure. actually this is just hmm. this was technically junk armor and I just turned it into good stuff all right that's not gonna work what I want to do is turn those into ingots Plop, plop. Actually, we need this again. And this is costing us way more than it needs to because we just did it the wrong way. Now we can mouse. What would happen if... Two. Two versus ten. wonder which way we should go with that. Alright. Oh, we're a little better off than what we were. And we can remove the player. some white stuff because uh, I'm not sure if we will do it but I am going to show you something else we've been doing and it's been a miserable failure like that's anyone surprised who watches anything on this channel I wish they would grow up I might have an overpopulation here Alright, right now I need lumber. And I would like that to be there. speed of this thing. So this will be part of the frame. And we'll be needing some of this as well. So we're going to get rid of that, keep the apple.
and probably get back what we just threw away. Alright, do we have... I think we got more than sufficient, but... I don't know. Okay, there was no uh, durability on that thing. Let's go back here. those cyan in fact I've bred a few extra sheep and made most of them cyan sheep so I think we got what we need there So we might have enough of what I want. Anyway, I know in terms of cyan, not remotely close. Anyway. Yeah, I pretty much sucked that dry. Let's look at what we got here. Okay, into the nether we go. And we just finished this in the last episode. The uh, easier access to the building. It takes a little longer, but it's much easier to get there. been up to. Oh, and this is stuff I should have taken up with me. I, I think we're now 14 ender pearls, so if I find another fortress, we could almost fast track it to the end and fight the dragon. Is...
this was pointless. I'm giving up on that. And we are going to move the player. Why are you upset with me? Oh, and then we die. This is a problem. We want to respawn. That is a big problem. And now you can see what, not the piglin part, but you can see what the big problem is. Is that apparently there's a fire going on and I was using carpet because I made sure everything was supposedly clear and used carpet to make sure these guys didn't spawn in. Well, that's not going to be the way we're doing it now. And I have no idea why they're angry all of a sudden. Do is just in case he's still upset, and head right back up and rekit. That goes here, that goes here, that and there, and there. But we don't have our torches. I do not know where the fire source came, but but the funny thing is everything was perfectly fine. Now suddenly it all caught fire. So I'm going to do a plan B is once I get this fire cleared out, we'll show it plan B is. entirely wrong in so many ways. Once again, relatively safe. I honestly don't know what I did to anger that pigment. Because I don't remember attacking anything. Now what I was doing, which is also why we picked up a whole bunch of wool, and this is going to be an off-camera thing, is I'm 
I might just leave it in here because, I mean, this was a safe spot. It's beyond where the problems lied. All right, we can we can turn when we press the turn the player button. Interesting how it knew I wanted to put a carpet there and then it just doesn't. So I mean this area was okay and in worst case if it's on fire we just Head up the ladder and we'll be safe. This part I know was okay. The idea is we're gonna come out here and half slab a whole bunch of this, put a big section of fence around here, and make a two story contraption where we can kill these things because as you can see, they form in here quite often and what I was doing here and you saw that all that white wool that I captured is what we do is we explode beds now since some of you watch this and don't have the game In when you're in the overworld, you know, the regular world where all the trees are and all that lovely stuff. Uh, ready? No, I'm not going to put that there. When you have that nice stuff. Right, I'm just. Okay, give me some. Alrighty. Alright, now we're going to put the rest away. We can place. Oh, I lost my pile of dirt too. That was kind of an important thing, believe it or not. I don't like to use wool because that's something that could catch fire. But you have seen... We'll come back. You have seen how here in the overworld... I finally figured out. Face this way, we will face towards the exit. Like so. As you see in the overworld in a moment. Because we need. Actually, we'll do it first because the sun's low. Bed in the overworld. You hit the bed, you sleep in it if. It is dark. Now, like I said, there are people that watch this that do not have the game and don't know how the mechanics work. So, let's see here. I still have carpet that I shouldn't have on me. So... What we're trying to do is find a new ore called Ancient Debris. And it's supposed to be ridiculously hard to find.
Anyway. And I gotta get more red stuff because the fence at the top of the flight of stairs, not done. Now into the mining facility. We're going for ancient debris. And the funny thing is I do watch a kid named Waddles. And he blows a path that's like takes you know it took him about an hour an hour and a half and he found like 24 pieces I blew a crap ton of this place up not a single piece to be found also we have an enderman which okay I have my little enderman shelter over there because we are going to be eating it now In the first fire, I lost my magic fire sword. Nothing. so cute but when they're magma cubes they hurt even the little ones I believe that might be how I might have inadvertently hit one of them so I'm trying to find ancient debris and I blew all this crap up and there is absolutely nothing nothing so anyway, as you saw in the overworld, if I make a bed and sleep in it, you know, I sleep the night away. That does not work in the nether. But it, if you try to use a bed in the nether, and there's a reason why we're standing back here, That happens. And this is one of the reasons why we needed our dirt pile. is we occasionally have lava and we need to put it out and again absolutely no ancient debris every now and then I find quartz and I mean that helps with the uh, that ultimately helps with my uh, XP Let's try again here. <laughs> or that's about it. Well, we can go back up and make some pickaxes. Uh. And that's why I had junk armor, so when I take hits, it doesn't damage it. 
doesn't I don't have to worry about losing my good armor. All right, so over here, oh, we need to get our sand back. See, I can't just take this and make a slab. Gotta make it into bricks. Now we can exit. All right. Oh yeah, we don't have any pickaxes, so... And we lost our torches, which is even better. And we don't have any coal, which is even better than that. Said we blew up a ton of area, including way down there, a lot of this. Absolutely no ancient debris to be found. Took. I gotta go back up and get coal because I need it. need to start with what we got there. So now we need coal. That'll get us started. Now what we need to do is So let's see. We're going to need to clear a spot. Yep, place.
do is I forgot to take that out. that and okay I get a bunch of nether bricks so why can we not make it? oh there they are just blend it in too well all right so we get four of those and we only have three buckets. There. Right, we got our four buckets of lava. Slowly making this end a little less. Now we can start smelting some of our smelting some of our stuff here. Because we're gonna half slab a good chunk of that area. Alrighty. A bed. Grab an apple because we can probably use it. Mm. Yeah, so we're just going to blow up enough beds to. Just enough to give you an idea of what we're doing. Alright, we're not going to be dealing with that. I can not find ancient debris whatsoever. Waddles blows up three inches of his underground world and finds it. And okay. That's also why we want to half slap this to a degree. Before we do that, let's just place the bed and get some experience.
I said, this stuff is helping us with our experience, so it's not a total loss, but... I still wonder if ancient debris is a thing in bedrock. It's supposed to be. This is the main corridor that I started, and going absolutely nowhere with. a single piece to be found. So apparently I found a second second flow here. Like I said, I'm just going to explode the number of beds that I have. Because this is getting dull, even for me. Anyway, got two more. Let's see what we get with two more. Again, more of the... Uh, more quartz, but not... Not ancient debris.
Alright, now I got one more bed. Still gonna place the bed right here and watch it go kablooey. So that's definitely the source. Now if I remove that block and it came back, then I did not hit the source. Alright, so I'm going to have to dig all this crap up again. Take the buckets out, like I said, and make a bunch more of the brick. Alrighty, so I want to see something. Do I have? I, I should have gold. I just want to see something. No, that's not gonna work. All right, like anything. If I think of it, it just can't work.
as much as how it looks. This will be our trading area. What happened to the regular oak that I had? back up in the overworld because we're missing stuff that we should have with us. I had, had oak wood ready to go. It's suddenly not there anymore. Could be that I've been up since 2 in the morning and it's almost 11 o'clock at night. That may have a thing to do with things. some of this as well. Grab some of that again. should not exist there. I'm not going to waste the axe.
that's not going to look right. Now I will. fun part is trying to get these guys to go in there. be more than what I want, but it's be a decorative bit to it. And these will be temporary blocks. The idea is we'll bean them. If we can block them in, not sure how well it'll go, but Mm-hmm. 
Son Enderman. where they are. Okay, perfect. As long as I get here quick enough. Which I didn't. Must have went downstairs. Thing is, you're way too close. So yet we got another room that we can't really outfit because no one's heading to the right positions here. Work. Abort, 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 abort. Oh, wrong floor. Coming after me? I'm good.
All right, we got one. What we'll do is once we get them filled in, we'll put a we'll put a counter over here in which they can come up and trade stuff. But we're not gonna spend all day doing this. I'm not going to spend all day doing this. They're so fascinated with that piece. Well, we figured out a flaw in the system. Forgot that they despawn. <laughs> so much for that. Here will ultimately. I think that might be overworld, but we'll just leave it. Don't really need that. So, we're going to actually do now that we. Have this is a crap ton of slabs. Once again, we are attempting to make it 
but not very spawnable here. we lose a black carpet but it's okay because we're going to take black carpet put it back in and the half slabs will prevent anything from spawning on it and we want to make it, like I said, a good size area in which we don't have to worry about anything spawning in. That's one of them. Of course, as I said, it's going to be a limited area in which this will be done. And I'm thinking at this end, because I blew most of this end up, this will make a two tier pig in a piglin farm, gold piglin farm. You know I exist, so now you must die. Idea, once I make this big enough is that when I I can put a fence around here none of these guys will bother coming in and a significant distance that way will be another will be an aisle where again it'll be half slabbed 
and there will be corridors above and below me where they can spawn in and then once I attack one they'll form in a specific spot doesn't mean they can't get in here it just means they will be unable to physically spawn in start from here it's weird because for some reason the way this game is designed monsters cannot spawn in on any terrain that's half a slab in height which also includes stairs So close, but so far away. I mean, look at all these piglins that could be killed for their gold, but it's not set up in a safe manner. Yeah, we gotta fix that as well. set up again and go like that. Alright, that also meant we lost other stuff that we need as well. But we need something from the overworld.
I completely forget why we came down here. Take care of this. to do is smooth this out just a little more.
Gotta finish that at some point. All right, since this is gonna go absolutely nowhere anytime soon, Neither are chasing. But you are now. There's another one around, I hear you. If I can only find a castle, I mean, you know, another fortress, I could probably within a day get to the dragon. But, I 
Let's see. First, let's loot that we take home. Actually, this would be another gold that we can keep. This and that we get rid of. That we don't need. So I know I can make another brick with that, but we're not gonna. Black wool, we'll just put that there for now. Put these here because that was the intent for over there. been that way a bit, we've been that way a bit, not really gone this way too much. too many there. Since it's here, as I go for it. Especially since, uh, especially since we got some up there, might as well get the rest of it. place but not a way to get there
mod how things, how f fluid dynamics work in this game at times. it all blends in and you, of course you got to watch out for those occasional one block lava cells that you dig in and the lava will be flowing and you could suddenly wind up in a flow and wind up dead Well, it doesn't get any better. is we can turn, press the turn button, known as the mouse.
might look like it goes a little further if we go this way. Let's see what happens. As long as any of the pigments aren't around, we're good at doing this gold thing. Yep, break it. I get down here.
There we go. And I think that's all we got there. Yeah, that's it. I think I got ambushed. Yeah, I did. going again. Anyway, I want to check up on a few things, plus... Yeah, we'll take the long way around.
what we need to get going again is we need to get the barnyard animals up to snuff again. I don't think we're going to need too many carrots. too many. And somehow a spider spawned in here. Chickens are getting up to a healthy number again. Pigs and cows, not so much. We no longer need the cyan wool. Yeah, we only got one name tag, so that's not good for our little village farm. Oh, and I forgot to bring the ender pearls from the uh, nether. So once we find blaze rods, as I said, we could fast track it if we wanted to, to the end. Because we pretty much got everything else. Did I leave anything in there, in here, or in here? do want to do See what I can get for 20 points. Close enough. 
but not what I want. Oh, whatever. Pointless, pointless, pointless. Well, I hate to do it. The rest of this is going to be really boring. It's as if this hasn't been already. But it's pretty much going in another widening that unspannable area. Unspawnable area. And that's pretty much what we're going to have today. You know, slightly shorter than normal, but I am so dead tired. Georgia Pfeiffer von Zane. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.